So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there. This is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We're in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God, and it's taking the 12 sacred voices, or the most esteemed of those sacred voices from the East and the West, and sharing some poetry that was transmitted through them, um, and they have labeled Love Poems from God. Uh, We have viewed um, work from Rabia of the Sufi tradition, St. Francis of Assisi, Rumi, and right now we are looking at the work of Meister Eckert. So this is part three in his series. The first poem is called, But He Wanted Me. I could not bear to touch God with my own hand when he came within my reach but he wanted me to hold him. How God solved my blessed agony. Who can understand? He turned my body into his. The next one's called, I Bet God. If he let go of my hand, I would weep so loudly. I would petition with all my might. I would cause so much trouble that I bet God would come to his senses and never do that again. Love does that. All day long, a little burrow labors, sometimes with heavy loads on her back, Sometimes just with worries about things that bother only burrows. And worries, as we know, can be more exhausting than physical labor. Once in a while, a kind monk comes to her stable and brings a pear. But more than that, he looks into the burrow's eyes and touches her ears. And for a few seconds, the burrow is free and even seems to laugh because love does that. Love frees. The hope of loving. What keeps us alive? What allows us to endure? I think it is the hope of loving or being loved. I heard a fable once about the sun going on a journey to find its source and how the moon wept without her lover's warm gaze. We weep when light does not reach our hearts. We wither like fields if someone close does not rain their kindness upon us. The Spirit's Hands They can be a great help. Words. They can become the Spirit's hands and lift and caress you. This last one is called, How Then Can We Argue? Having lunch in a field one day, I troubled an ant with a question. I asked of him humbly, Have you ever been to Paris? And he replied, no, but I wouldn't mind going. And then he asked me if I had ever been to a famous ant city. And I regretted that I hadn't. And was quick to add, I wouldn't mind too. This led to a conclusion. 
there is life that we do not know of. How aware are we of all consciousness in this universe? What percent of space is this earth in the infinite realm? What percent of time is 1% in eternity? Less than that is our knowledge of God. How then can we ever argue about him? Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share and subscribe in your favorite podcast venue. And I really hope you're enjoying these, this series. I know that I am.